What is it, guys? I'm just going to back here for another video. And today, today I'm going to be doing a little turkey calling video. Going over different types. Now, for I'm going to do mouth calls and locator calls. That's all I got. I got one box call and I do not use it. I don't like that. Uh, I like box calls, but I don't like that one that I got. It's too screechy. And this is a new Primo's uh, hook cutter, hook cutter series, uppercut read. I think that's what it's called. That's new. I just got, uh, got I got it Friday. Today Sunday, and I just got it cut down to my size because it was way too big. So first, I'm gonna start out with my older call and just. dropped it. I don't care. Alright, so I've been working on my purring too and I'm not very good at that but but here it is nothing. This ain't a purr. I'm just gonna call basically. This is been, I don't know. Here's a purr. I'm gonna try to purr. I'm gonna try to purr. Uh, I don't know how well it's gonna go. I'm not good at purring. It's hot outside, so if you want to know, I'm wearing shorts with my boots. That's the reason. Uh. Alright, so now I'm going to try to purr. Uh, I'm not very good at purring, but. about the best I got on purring. Uh, it's going to be a shorter video. This is, um, like I said, I'm not going to explain it, but it's supposed to sound like a raspy hen. And if you don't know what that is, it means like an older hen. It's got more scratchiness in it. So, <clears throat> I'm not good at this. I just started practicing like an hour ago, so here it goes nothing. <laughs> you can go a little bit higher pitched or lower pitched or whatever you call it. Sounds terrible, so you just on this call you just barely push with your tongue. If you push hard it goes <coughs> The only time I get high pitched when I do that is <coughs> it's hard for me to do it like I said so do it loud for the camera. I don't know if y'all can hear me very well. But, uh, okay. That's basically all the mouth calls I got. Now, I don't have an owl call. It's not here yet. I ordered one for the talent show and plus just hunting. So, this is the Flex, flex Tone. I don't know if you can see that. Flex Tone Crow Call. So, now there's different ways to do it. You can go 
do that, or you can go a little bit faster, go, ah, ah, ah. Or, I don't really like the sound of it, but you go, I can't really do it, but hang on. that or you can sound something like a fighting crow and go ah, 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 ah. Hang on. Uh, something like that now you can watch videos on it and stuff best thing to do is what I on turkey calling, I watch, I look up videos of hens purring and basically calling, every type of calling, and then I try to kind of imitate what they're doing, and uh, I haven't played with this thing in, I don't know how long, so, I just got it from my dad's house, so, as soon as my uh, owl call, I'll be doing, comes in, I'll be doing it unboxing video basically uh if i can remember before i decide to tear into it i will uh and i might do a video in a little bit since i haven't been doing a lot of videos i might do another one in a little bit of uh turkey hunting stuff now my pack is up at my mama and papa it's got a hole in it my mama's fixing it uh <laughs> my turkey hunting clothes and basically all my hunting clothes was up at my dad's and I just got back from there. So. I've never heard a crow sound like that. I just done. Alright, so. And a lot of times if I can get crows to come Especially at my dad's, I don't know why, but they love staying around there. And I love going out on the porch and just listening to them and go, ah, 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 right back at them. Or if they go, ah, 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 I've heard them a lot of times do that. I'll go, ah, 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 right back at them. And a lot of times I've had them come towards me, and I'm trying to see if they would any come here now uh, for the camera but I doubt they will so <laughs> you can go like trap the sound in more by squeezing it something like that or anything uh just depends what they sound like now if you're trying this is a locator calls what this is for for turkey hunting if you don't know you just don't go out in the woods and blow it. it's for early morning when you get out you don't know where the gobblers are at you want to find out if you don't know whether they're roosting or anything really uh they just get out there early in the morning. If, now you can be walking in and decide to do it, or you can be sitting where you want to sit and uh, blow it. But a lot of times you just walk in the woods, you don't know where you want to hunt, and just whip out your crow call, your owl call, anything. Just a locator call and go. Ah, ah, ah. Or. Don't really go ah, ah, ah. real loud in the morning. I mean, you can get loud with it, but you really only use it one time a day. It's in the morning, and you just get out there and go. Ah, ah, ah. Just light, and if you hear it, you can figure out where they're at. And if it's an owl, 
call you just say in it who cooks for you who cooks for you oh you can look it up on youtube if you don't believe me that's what they say to say there's not really a saying for a crow call because there are different notes you can go which is kind of weird, but they do that, and they go, <laughs> you, they can muffle their sound, it sounds like you kind of have your hand to the back like this, <laughs> not like that, <laughs> I've heard them sound like that, um, kind of shocked me, they were sound weird, but anything really uh and a lot of times i'll be sitting where i want to sit that morning and it's just kind of still dark just getting daylight and i'll go <coughs> here at gobble i'll wait a couple minutes and then we'll get a mouth call out and go do that uh sometimes they won't answer the mouth call of the mornings uh sometimes they won't answer anything now uh if, if <coughs> don't work you can go you can speed it up go <coughs> you can get a little bit faster or you can go <laughs> which is like fighting throw and stuff and if that don't work you can just switch around and try different stuff there's not really certain way to do it in my opinion so just find out what works and I mean I've had an alcohol before when I was a little bit littler it's not that hard to do uh, neither is crow call I haven't had any practice with this which I have but it's not hard to do I mean, Flex Tone done a good job on this call. You just blow in that little white thing in there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, right there. Just vibrates to make a crow sound. And it just... It's not hard to do at all. And if you ain't, if you don't already have, now I'm not sponsored by Flex Tone or nothing. I'm not sponsored by anybody on YouTube or nothing. But if you haven't already and you can find one of these calls, order it, go to the store, pick it up, something. They are pretty good. I mean, they're not hard to use at all. And and if you're not very good with a mouth call, uh, Primo's does quite a good job on theirs. Now, if they would sponsor, Primo's would sponsor me, I'd love that. I love their calls. So, do, I like Flex Tone, but I gotta kind of mint. Primo's Pizza. Blackstone, I don't think they have that many mouth calls out. I only had one of those, and I really didn't like it. And I gave it to my dad. No. Maybe I bought him another one. I can't remember. Uh, But it just fell apart. Uh, their mouth call, I didn't like that one. I picked it up at Roll King, and... 
Now here's the raspy hen from Primo's. And if you if you don't know how to use a mouth call, I'll teach you real quick. So what you do is first step at all is by the and put it in your mouth or actually the best thing to do is to get something something and stick it in your mouth and make sure you don't gag on it because if you gag on this you're like swallow it which it's hard to swallow these things but it could just block your windpipe or whatever it's called and it could kill you so and then stick it in your mouth let's let it sit in there and it didn't bother me well it did at first until and if it's too big and it won't fit all the way to the roof of your mouth uh just mainly for kids grown ups really shouldn't have a problem with it cause their mouth is wider or whatever so but it needs to be perfectly in the roof of your mouth so if it's what, too big and it won't fit in there just like I had to do with this call just easily cut it around and uh it might give your mouth call less life or whatever you want to call it. It might not last as long because you're basically cut while well, you're cutting it and after time it might rip. But I mean, it's, if that's the only way you can use it, it's the only way you can use it. But you just put it in the roof of your mouth, make sure you don't gag, and then start practicing just making noises. Don't. Don't try to sound like a turkey, just make a noise. Just go. That's what, what my dad told me to do, just start. Just start making noises. And then once you get used to that and know you can do it, start going. Hang on. Start going. And when you're doing that, say chirp. Go chirp, 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 with it. So, do what I'm doing. And if you have a mouth call and you're learning and you cut it out and it can fit your mouth, do what I'm doing. Stick it in your mouth. Rough your mouth. I go. Or. Just start going chirp, 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 chirp. And then if you ever hear me go. Or. I'm not good with this call yet, so I'll show you with this one. If you ever hear me get hyper, hyper with it, go. If you ever hear me get hyper with it, that's for... I just do that when I'm practicing, really. Uh, that's for really... If you cannot get them to answer with just going. If you cannot get them to do that. I mean, uh, gobble back at you or anything with just going. Chirp, 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 this. Then you can go.
can't get them to gobble that call it's pretty good and if that don't work I mean there's different ways to do so you can watch videos on it and take notes and all that uh, but since I haven't been doing uh, videos lately I'll probably do another one in a little bit so yeah I got a, I know I sound terrible probably with this mouth call on in, but uh, like I said, I just started practicing probably not even an hour ago. <laughs> and you can gobble. There's different ways. You can put it in the roof of your mouth, up by your teeth, and put it on your bottom lip. Hang on. <laughs> I can't really do it. Just say tuka tuka. Tuka tuka tuka. Tuka tuka. Or you can put it in your back of your mouth and go tuka 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 tuka. I can't really do it. I'm gonna try this mouth call again. I've been practicing the heck out of this call. See, that one's a lot easier to do, to make noises now. Tuka tuka tuka, tuka tuka tuka, tuka tuka tuka. do it fast though so if I ever learn how to gobble I'll do a video on that but I mean I can it's hard so <laughs> I can do it it just I can't go Real quick, I go. Alright, so 
I'm gonna start practicing Goblin. Uh, I will do another video later tonight, probably. I haven't made up my mind. I still gotta get a shower for school and everything. Uh, so I will get to y'all tomorrow. I think my mom might have to work. Either way, I'll probably still get to you. Excuse me. Anyways, I'll get to y'all sometimes. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll get to y'all in the next one.